The Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre, or the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, is a 4th century church in the Christian quarter of the Old City of Jerusalem. It is considered the holiest site for Christians in the world and the most important pilgrimage site for Christianity, continuously recognized since the 4th century as the place where Christ died, was buried, and rose from the dead. Here you will find the very site where Jesus was crucified, known as Calvary or Golgotha, and Jesus' empty tomb, which is where he was buried and resurrected. Let us now listen to the reflection by Archbishop Adolfo Tito Eliana, Apostolic Nuncio to Jerusalem, delivered from Calvary, the very site where Christ was crucified, on the seventh word, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, I'm speaking to you from the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, and more precisely from the small chapel of Golgotha, the very spot where Jesus was crucified and with his death redeemed the world. We will meditate in prayer together his last word, finding ourselves exactly in the place where he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. These words of our Lord take us to the very heart of Jesus and introduce us to understand the power of prayer. In fact, three of Jesus' seven last words, almost a half, are addressed to God the Father, and therefore, truly are prayers. Father, forgive them, the first word. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? The second one. Finally, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Dear friends, the entire life of Jesus was an everlasting inner conversation with the Father. This dialogue began before incarnation and even before creation. In the beginning, the Word was with God, as St. John the Evangelist writes in his prologue. The original Greek text reads, proston theon, meaning his gaze was turned towards the Father, the Father and the Son from eternity communicated in love. And this communication of love is the Holy Spirit. This dialogue was renewed at the moment of the Incarnation. Coming into the world, Christ says, Behold, I come to do your will, as we read in the letter to the Hebrews. Then the whole earthly existence of Jesus, from his childhood in Nazareth until the day of his ascension into heaven, was a never-ending prayer, a loving dialogue with his eternal Father. In the Gospel of Luke, the first word that Jesus utters when he gets lost in the temple of Jerusalem, just located a few hundred meters from here where I stand, is, do you not know that I must be about my father's business? I must concern myself with the things of the father. And his last words on the cross are, Father, into your hands I entrust my spirit. So the first and last words of Jesus in Luke's gospel concern his Father. Ultimately, the Word made flesh, 
that is the word of God, said only one thing to humanity, Father, Abba. The whole existence of the Son of God is therefore one great powerful prayer to the Father. Jesus came to teach us that by praying to God in His name, that is, with Him, through Him, and in Him, we can have infinite trust in God, who is a good Father for Him and for us. We could say that the Eternal Father, in the profound silence of the origin, spoke one word, and this word is Son. You are my Son, today I have begotten you. The Son of God, on His side, speaks only one word, Father, and teaches us to do the same. The mission of the Son on earth was to show the face of the invisible God. Now His mission is accomplished, and the Word comes back into God's silence. As Isaiah writes, succeeded in the thing for which the Father sent him, so that when we pronounce the words of the Our Father, it is Christ himself who prays in us. We share his dialogue, loving dialogue with his Father. We enter into their dialogue. We are the voice, but the word, Father, is the eternal prayer of the Son. When Jesus here on this hill of Calvary concludes his earthly existence, he discloses forever the mystery of his and our Father, knowing that he had come forth from God and was going back to God, Jesus expresses the fullness of love dying for us. From eternity, the gaze of the Son always turned towards the Father to carry on. Now Jesus returns to the Father to carry on the everlasting dialogue with Him. Dear brothers and sisters, the perfection of Christian prayer is all in these few words. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus perfectly expresses his trusting filial abandonment in the hand of the Father. Yes, Father, now I return to you. I am dying. I do not fall into nothingness. My life will not end in the silence of the tomb. I am not going into the unknown. I'm coming back home. I am returning to you. I am returning to the womb of your love, safe in your fatherly hands. Behold, I come to you. These words express the central meaning of the Our Father. The secret of Jesus' prayer is contained in the word Abba, Father. God is our Father. So we, the baptized, are all children of God each one singularly loved by Him. We are not born by chance. We are the fruit of an eternal plan of love. We are not alone in the whole world. We are cared for with fatherly love by our own Father in heaven. He who provides for each of us and even counts the hairs on our heads. This prayer of trust opens to us the horizon of eternal life. In a sixth word, it is accomplished. Jesus thinks of his earthly life in the years past as in a flashback and says to himself, yes, the mission that my father entrusted to me is now accomplished. The world is now redeemed. The name of the Lord has been sanctified. The kingdom of God is being realized. The will of the Father has been done. To demonstrate full oneness with the pain of mankind earlier, he exclaimed, My God, my God, 
Why have you abandoned me? Now with a faint voice, he utters, Father, no, it is not you who abandoned me. It is I who freely and with love abandon myself to you. No one takes my life. It is I who give it. Then with a loud voice he called out, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. It is a powerful prayer which introduces us with him into eternal life. As St. Therese of the Child Jesus wrote when she felt the end approaching, I am not dying. I am entering into life, into the true life. For this reason, the wisdom of the church makes us pray every evening in the prayer before night's rest. Lord, into your hands, I commend my spirit. When we abandon ourselves to sleep, it is as if we anticipate the moment of our death. And we too say with Jesus, Lord, my life is in your hands. I fall asleep peacefully because you are my father. Dear brothers and sisters, I am at the place of Golgotha where Jesus pronounced his seven last words. The very last is the one with which everything begins. Father. Jesus knows that the Father would never leave him alone, nor allow his Holy One to see corruption in a tomb. This holy and glorious tomb is located a few meters from here in this most holy basilica. It is indeed a privilege for me to be in this place, to repeat with Jesus and with you as we meditate together my act of commendation into the Father's hands. I offer this entrustment for you, giving voice to your prayer as well. A famous spiritual song says, Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Yes, brothers and sisters, you and I, together in faith, are at the foot of our Lord. And now, through Him, with Him, and in Him we pray, Father, into your hands, Together with Jesus, your Son, the Beloved, we entrust our whole life until the day of our death when we will return to your house, our home. Abba, Father, teach us to pray like Christ, whose whole existence was one great powerful prayer to you. May our lives be inspired by your Son and be a conversation with you. Like Christ, may we always turn our gaze to you. Like Christ on the cross, may we have infinite trust in you, that through prayer we may see your face. As we bear our own crosses, let us always remember that we are never abandoned by the Father, that in fact, it is in freely abandoning ourselves to the Father in offering our lives that we find grace. As we conclude the seven last words, let us also commend our spirit to the Father as Christ did and express the eternal prayer of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
Oh, oh, oh.